What's up guys, today we're gonna to be editing some creative transitions and effects in Final Cut Pro 11. Starting off with this building animation effect. Here is my raw video clip. The first thing we need to do is export the first frame of this video clip. So let's click up here and go to export as a JPEG. So I need to use AI to remove the house and fill in the rest of the image. I'll leave a link to this website in the description. So first we need to open the image. Now we can click on AI tools here and go to generative fill and then just draw around the part that you want to remove. Now we need to add in a prompt. So I'm just going to put in barley, small bushes and then click generate. So this is a pretty nice image here. Let's go ahead and save this. And then we can drag the image into our timeline and right click on this, go to change duration and put this before the video in the timeline. So next let's copy and paste our video clip. On the first frame, hold down shift and press H. This will create this hold frame, which is basically just a freeze frame. And then just trim off the end here. So now on this freeze frame, let's add a draw mask effect. So over in the effects tab, let's go to mask and keying and add the draw mask effect onto this. Now we need to mask out the different sections of the building. So let's start with this lower section of the building here. I'm just going to do a rough edit on this. Next, I'm going to keyframe this. So if we go to the start, click on the transform tool here and just add a keyframe by clicking the keyframe button up here and then drag the building down, down to the bottom of the screen and then move to the middle of this freeze frame and move it up so that it's just off of the ground and then go to the last frame, go back just a couple of frames to give us some room and then set the transform parameters over here on the right back to zero. So now it should come up, then go back down. If the keyframes are a bit abrupt, then we can right click on the keyframes, click linear and then right click again and click smooth. Sometimes this helps smooth out the animation. And yep, yeah, that worked. Keyframes are weird in Final Cut Pro, but that's a lot smoother than it was. Next, let's copy and paste this layer here. And on this one, select the draw mask effect and just move the mask up. And I'm going to mask out the middle portion of the building, just like that. Let's copy and paste this layer again. And on the top layer, let's move this mask up and mask out the final part of the building. So now we have the separate layers of the building and I'm just going to reorder these in the timeline. And then next I need to select the middle layer and just go to the transform parameters and click on the arrows so that we go to the middle keyframe. And on this middle keyframe, I'm just going to move this up so that it's separated from the bottom part and the same on the top layer so that they're all separated. So now when they come up, they're all separated like that. And then they all come back down together and we can even add some rotation. So on this middle layer, I'm going to add some rotation and then go to the end put the rotation back down to zero. And the same on the top layer, we can add some rotation. To make the buildings look kind of 3D, what I did was added the extrude effect. So if we go to the effects expansion pack, and this doesn't come with Final Cut Pro, but I'll leave a link to it down below. This effects pack comes with a bunch of really useful tools when it comes to doing editing like this. So if we add the extrude effect onto this, then we can really easily make the building look 3D. And we just need to change a few of the settings, I turn down the back size and then switch the extrude style to gradient. So that gives it like kind of a 3D look. Next, I'm going to copy and paste our background layer and add it on top of all of these and then add a draw mask onto this just around the kind of bottom of the building. This will make it look as if the building's coming out from the ground. Next, I'm going to select the three building layers and right click and then add them into a new compound clip. And because the animation's really slow, what I'm going to do is retime it. Let's add a speed ramp here, hold down shift and press B, and then also add a speed ramp before they start coming back down again. Now we can speed up the first half of the animation and speed up the second half to fit the video. So next we can drag in some VFX and just move those into position. You can get these explosions and stuff for free from Production Create. I'll leave the link to their website in the description. Next, I'm going to add some shake effects and a zoom out from the house at the start. 
just to add a bit of movement to the shot. So for the shake effect, I like to add an adjustment layer in. Adjustment layers don't come with Final Cut Pro, but it's a free plugin that you can get. I'll leave the link to it in the description. It just allows you to add effects to everything underneath the adjustment layer. So let's go over to the effects. And for this one, I'm going to use the bounce shake effect. There are some other shake effects built into Final Cut Pro, but I just like using this one because it has a lot more adjustments. I'll leave the link to it in the description if you wanna go and check it out. We can change all of the settings up here. So now when the house lands, we get a nice shake. I'm also going to add the rumble shake effect on top of all the layers at the start of the animation and just keyframe the amount from 60 down to down to zero. And then I'm also going to add like a handheld shake effect onto this. And then finally, I'm going to add a zoom out from the building at the start. You can do this using the Ken Burns effect. I like to use this smooth camera zooms plugin. Finally, at the end, I'm going to add some more of these impact VFX. And yeah, there we go. That is the finished product. In the next video, I'm going through some more of the cool transitions and effects from this edit. Subscribe if you want to check that out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.